Last week in the Korean Professional League, also known as the LCK, Genji's Peanut had an insanely creative path that caught everyone off guard. Although at first glance it seems like the pathing of an Iron 4 player, this game plan was carefully planned out to perfectly counter the enemy team. In this match, Peanut's playing Poppy Jungle, which is not the most OP meta pick, but can be a deadly champ to play when the right situation comes up. Since the jungle meta can get stale at times, seeing this out of the box thinking was really a treat to watch. Where this game plan really starts is in the draft. As you can see by Genji's picks on the left, Peanut is playing Poppy Jungle into Elem's Viego, which is a very standard pick in pro play. Although Poppy is not some power pick jungler, she's decent into Viego and is amazing into Callista, which is where he's going to be putting his focus this game. The most important thing to note in this draft is the bot lane matchup. Although Ezreal and Renata are very powerful later on in the game, they're much weaker early and will get pushed in. Since Poppy hard counters Callista's mobility and the lane will be pushed up, Peanut has to come up with a way to influence bot before Viego has a chance to counter. Although this seems simple, Viego will most likely be playing towards bot, so brute forcing a 3v3 fight will definitely not work. Another thing to note is how reliant the red team is on their Callista and Viego being ahead to win. They have a very low damage comp with mostly just CC, meaning that if their AD and jungle fall behind, they'll have no follow up for all that crowd control. As soon as the game starts, Peanut makes a beeline right to Viego's red, putting a ward to get info of how he'll be pathing. This not only confirms that he'll be pathing from topside to bot, but also that Viego is doing a full clear since he's seen walking to his Krugs instead of going to blue side. As soon as Poppy sees Viego walking upwards, it triggers the green light to execute this psychopath game plan. He takes red and instantly flashes over the dragon wall, going straight to Viego's blue side to counter jungle. This is genius for multiple reasons. He knows Viego is full clearing, so he won't be able to contest his camps on time. Secondly, Peanut knows that the enemy will be expecting him to come bot, so by doing this flash over the wall, he actually avoids all vision put down in the river. This gives him enough time to go into Viego's jungle, steal both his blue and gromp to hit level 3, before Viego has any idea of what is going on. Once Ash hits level 2, she sends out a hawk shot to scout Peanut's jungle, realizing both his Krugs and Raptors are still up, which is very confusing. You can even see them start question mark pinging Peanut's blue side, as they assume he just skipped camps and is pathing topside. To complete this Giga Brain plan, Peanut is running the rune Hex Flash, allowing him to get a second flash over the wall behind the enemies pushing bot lane, flanking and pushing them into Gen G's waiting arms before they have a chance to react. This not only puts Viego behind by stealing his camps, but completely turns the tides of Gen G's losing bot lane. This burns all of their summoner spells and gives rulers Ezreal first blood. As discussed earlier, this was supposed to be red side's strong lane. With them falling behind this early, blue side's scaling comp is off to a fantastic start. Now that Gen G has agency in bot lane, Peanut does a repeat gank at 545, coming in through lane to protect them while they're pushing. He then makes use of Hex Flash again to go over the wall and tower dive Callista. Although this gank does not go perfectly, and they lose 3 members for only 1, Callista still dies and loses a massive minion wave to the turret. From this point, Genji completely outscales Kwangdong with their Azir mid and Ezreal were not a bot lane. Since Callista and Viego are both super far behind and get countered by Poppy, both these champs end up being completely useless for the remainder of the game. This creative jungle pathing really shows that with proper game knowledge and planning, one smart move can instantly win the game for your team if pulled off correctly. This is not to mention the amount of balls that Peanut had to go for this play. I can only imagine the flame he would get for wasting flash over the wall if it failed. Although this looks like a pure coin flip play at first, Peanut had a fantastic plan to completely counter what the enemy team was trying to do. That will do it for today's video. I appreciate you watching and hope you learned something.